Hey guys, welcome back to uh, episode 24 of The Real Deal, James Neal, via promo. Uh, today, as I spoke about in the last episode, I think it's time that I talk about the uh, Team Canada roster possibilities uh, for the Olympics in 2014. So what I did was, I looked on the NHL website at the, uh, at the prelim squads that they have, the, uh, the camp squads, and basically I picked three goalies, seven defensemen, and 13 forwards who I think are, for me anyway, um, possibly the ones who will be chosen to represent Team Canada at the 2014 Olympics. So let's start off with the goalies. I've gone with uh, Roberto Luongo, Corey Crawford and Kerry Price. Now, I would imagine uh, the starter would be Kerry Price. I think he is an elite goalie and he had a bit of a blip at the end of last season and then uh, obviously in the playoffs didn't play um, due to injury. So I think Price will probably be the starter. I could see it being Corey Crawford though. Um, if he continues that kind of form he showed in the uh, in the Stanley Cup uh, finals and also in the regular season as well, he was brilliant in the regular season last year. And Luongo, while well, he was the starting goaltender last time, and he's going to get a lot of playing time in Vancouver uh, now that Corey Schneider's gone, so I would I would take Luongo as well. Now in terms of defensemen, uh, there's a couple of easy ones. Uh, I've gone with Shea Weber. Obviously, I don't really think that needs much explaining. I've gone with Drew Doughty. Um, I've gone with Duncan Keith and Seabrook as well. Um, the two Chicago uh, D there. Now, the final three um, are the ones that are most debated. Now, I wasn't sure to go with players I would pick or players I thought that Team Canada would pick. So I've kind of gone in between. Uh, I've gone with Chris Letang, uh, the Pittsburgh puck moving defenseman, and I've gone with PK Subban, uh, the Norris Trophy winner from last season. Um, I think Subban will make it. I'm not 100% sure about Latang though. And as the number seven, uh, I've gone with Alex Petriangelo. Um, a younger guy, you know, he, he probably will be a big part of the team at, say, 2018. So I thought he might be taken, um, not to play many, not to play really, he might play a couple of the games. But, um, yeah, I've got with Alex Petriangelo uh, to get some experience, really, for, uh, for 2018. Now, in terms of forwards, um, I kind of, I, I basically chose four centres um, and then filled in around that. So I've gone with Crosby, Taves, Bergeron and Joe Thornton down the middle. Now in terms of these wingers, um, they can play anywhere basically. I've, I've just basically listed them out. But uh, obviously Crosby scored the game really goal last time. Uh, Jonathan Taves, fantastic two-way centre. Same with Patrice Bergeron. And I like the size that Joe Thornton brings, possibly to like a fourth line. Um, I kind of imagined uh, a really big, strong, um, technically gifted, yet massive <laughs> fourth line, really. Um, so in terms of who I've got playing on Crosby's line, uh, I have Steven Stamkos and Corey Perry. Now, obviously, I know that Stamkos is centre and Perry's a right winger, but I would probably have Stamkos on the right and Perry on the left there. Uh, it, obviously, you know, when it comes to Olympics and stuff, you see a lot of players play out position. And also, Team Canada's blooming roster thing has so many centres, I don't know what to do. So, uh, I've, I've basically gone with the guys who, who I think can play wing better than the guys who uh, are just basically centres only. So, with Taves on the second line, uh, I've gone with Martin Saint-Louis and Patrick Sharp. I really like what Patrick Sharp would bring to this team. He could play all three positions. Uh, good good checker, uh, good shooter as well, great rush shot. So, I've gone with him and Martin Saint-Louis. Now, on the third line, I've kind of, 
kind of gone with like an energy kind of line. Uh, this guy, the first guy I put on it with Bergeron is a guy who I think might not actually make the team. Uh, Jordan Eberle. I had Ryan Getzlaff there originally, but I thought I had too many centres and I couldn't really see Getzlaff playing wing particularly effectively. So I've gone with Eberle. I've gone with Logan Couture. I think he's basically a lock for the team. Uh, he's been one of my favourite players to watch um, in the West for a couple of years now, and I really hope to make the team. So him, uh, Bergeron, and Eberle for the third line. Now, in terms of the fourth line, as I said, I wanted a big line. So I've gone with Eric Stuhl and Rick Natch to go with uh, Joe Forton. Now, I think that's a fantastic line. Uh, I'd love to see that line played together. Um, so that's why I put those those three guys together. And my extra forward, I go with John Tavares. Uh, it was a toss up between him and Claude Giroux, but I think Tavares will uh, will probably have the better season and will warrant the place more than Claude Giroux. So that's about it, guys. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to do my Team USA uh, roster that I think may be picked. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the roster, my roster, and what who would you take. And I've put a few uh, few wild cards there, such as uh, Eberle and uh, Patrick Sharp. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts of who you uh, who you think will make it on the team. And I'm really looking forward to looking back on this video uh, when the full rosters are announced to see how close I was to uh, to getting it right. So yeah, it's uh, it's going to be. It's a long time, I know, till the rosters are announced, but uh, but yes, I shall be checking and uh, giving myself marks out of, uh, what is it, 20, 23? No, 20, out of 20, for uh, how many out of 20 I got right. So, uh, until the next video, guys, have a good one, and I shall see you next time.